the question is do you think if Joe Biden wins the V lottery is going to be abolished or the other question is if President Trump continues to be the president they are going to cancel the V lottery and that question comes from Brian and 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 Anje. so in order to answer that question and I'm trying not to be too political personal I don't care uh, whether the winner is Joe Biden or President Trump why for me I usually register myself as a voter as independent in the US when you are going to register as a voter you choose what political party you want to belong to Republican Democrats Green Party whatever or independent in all elections I've participated in 2012 20, and 2016 and all the time I've been going there as independent and this is my my response number one politics is politics politicians will say anything to get your votes whether it will be Democrats whether it will be Republican during the election time they will say anything as long as they can win your vote to get elected the other question is will they implement what they are saying when they're in power that is the second thing both democrats and republican once they're in the office they are doing things on behalf of the people of america they are doing things for the american interest so if the american interest is to bring other people in the country no matter who is the president will support that if the american interest at that time is to block many people to come to america it doesn't matter whether the president is a republican whether the president is democrats why am i saying that way because there is assumption that democrats are supporters of immigrants there is assumption that all immigrants support Democrats. There is assumption that all Democrats vote, all, all, all immigrants support or vote for Democrats. And Democrats are taking the immigrants for granted. But when the Democrats are in power, what have they done in immigration and what Republicans have done in immigration? So that's why I'm pulling up some of the articles here. So if you can read here, you can see, I'm saying, this is from ABC News. For the first time, Biden calls Obama deportation big mistake. So this was during the campaign. During the time of campaign on the, uh, on the uh, primary within Republican, Joe Biden ac accepted that uh, Obama's administration, where Joe Biden was vice president, it was they did a very big mistake on the deportation. Why was it uh, was it a big mistake? Because according, I'm going to read here. Uh, they have because uh, so, uh, from uh, going further than he has ever. Uh, he has ever has, uh, expressing regret of Obama's administration immigration policy. Presidential candidate Joe Biden called it a big mistake to have deported hundreds of thousands of people without a criminal record. Without a criminal record. So this is the court. We took it, we took, uh, we took too far, too long to get it right. Biden said uh, in a wide-ranging, sometimes contentious interviews with the uh, Univision anchor George Ramos, the former vice president uh, later added, "I think it was a big mistake. Took too long to get it right." So, this is the time President Obama was was in the office. President Obama is Democrat. So, I want to take out your notion that Democrats are all the time working towards uh usually there's a notion that democrats are the one uh all the time uh reporting uh supporting immigrants but here vice president who is soon becoming president if he wins 
admitting that it was a big mistake to deport so many people even without a criminal record. President Trump also plans to, or that was his plan, and even they're deporting illegal immigrants. No president has not deported people, but the intention was illegal. But here Biden agrees, even people with, without a criminal record were deported. This is from CNN. I'm reading from CNN. The purpose of this one is not to discredit any political party or doing anything. I want just to make you sure, don't and don't just assume, oh, if so-and-so wins, we are going to be given all immigrants, we are going to get citizenship, we are going to get this something. I want to make sure that you understand the American politics. This is CNN. According to the analysis by the Migration Policy Institute, more than 12 million people were deported, either removed or returned from the U.S. during the Clinton administration. More than 10 million were removed or returned during the Bush administration. Which means, during the Clinton administration, Bill Clinton, 12 million people were deported. Clinton is Democrat. During the Bush administration, Bush, is, uh, Bush Jr. is Republican, 10 million deported. During the, uh, during the uh, Obama administration, one year, five million people were deported. Which is that number for one year is higher than Trump's deportation for four years. So my point is, it doesn't matter who is in power. If you are illegal in the U.S., they will deport you, whether it's Obama, whether it's Bush, whether it's Clinton, whether it's with Trump, they will deport you. Even me, if I'm president, if you are illegal, I'm deporting you. Even in Tanzania, if we see people are immigrants who are illegal from Kenya or from Somalia, from Ethiopia, they are deporting. If you are in Burundi, you are from Tanzania, you are illegal, they are deporting you. Each country has the right to deport anybody. That's why there are visas. That's where there are work permit. There are all those requirements you have to follow. So it's not about U.S. It's not about Obama. It's not about Clinton. It's not about whatever. They are all the same. So that is something I want to make sure that we understand one another. So don't get too excited. Oh, uh, Trump is going to cancel this. Let's wait for Biden. He's going to change. He's not going to change anything when it comes to this one. And let me give you this one something, uh, the last part. Uh, let me explain this the last part. Uh, on this last part is when we are talking about uh, Democrats and Republicans, one more thing you need to understand is this one. Obama was in office for eight years. The first four from, and then the second four. There are those immigrants we call uh, DACA. DACA are uh, Immigrants who came with their parents, these they came as children, two years old, one year old, three months old, three, four years old. They do not know even their country. They came here. Later they became, obviously you are illegal, but they are not having citizenship here or green card. So, at the time of Obama administration, at one point Obama was... I mean, Democrats was the, 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 the majority on House of Representatives, and they were majority in Senate, and they were having President White House. So they were, they were majority in all aspects. But in the Obama administration, instead of giving DACA the green card, what they did was, was to create an order not to deport them, but they're still illegal. So if Democrats are there to support all these immigrants. Why didn't you give uh, immigration, you give the green card or citizenship to all DACA people? But you say, oh, we are not deporting you, but you are still illegal. And you had the opportunity, you are majority in the House, you are the majority in the Senate, and you are in the White House. That comes to fast forward to today. Trump is White House Republican. Uh, Senate is white uh, Republican, but Democrats are in the Congress.
Trump in the immigration reform said the two things. I'm going to do things which Democrats they are supposed to do while they dominated House, Senate, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the White House. What was that was DACA. So Trump is saying, I'm going to give citizenship to DACA, and I'm going to change green card lottery. I'm going to introduce the military based. So in this way, there is a situation where when it goes to, to the house, they have to accept. If you don't accept the proposal of merit based, that means you are going to you are going to to, to affect also DACA because it is one deal. So my point is, yes, Republicans they might use this one as the way to get the votes because it's election time. I'm giving citizenship; they will vote for me. And Democrats they say, oh, when I get into power, Green Card will continue to be there forever. But will that be there? That is another question. But no matter who is in power, if you are illegal, it is a very complicated life here in the United States. If you are caught, you are out. So that's what I'm trying to explain and want to make this is a very big, uh, uh, about uh, the very big uh, concern for many people. So it doesn't matter who is in power. So don't get caught with the CNN or with this everybody. Trump is making this political campaign. Biden is making this political campaign. When you go to the numbers, millions and millions are deported every single day in all administrations. So that is what I want to explain about the uh, the Democrats versus Republicans to understand them when it comes to the immigration.